So today we are at the Pagal Baba Temple. It's a beautiful and notable 11 story temple right here in Vrindavan near Mathura. It was built by the devotees of a saint named Pagal Baba, uh, the real name being Sri Silananda Ji Maharaj. Uh, I'll go into the details of the story a bit later. This temple, this was built in the early 1970s and it was mainly funded by donations from uh, Pagal Baba's devotees. So Pagal Baba, as you can decipher, means a madman. Uh, he was actually a judge, but then he left his, uh, you know, materialistic world and become a Hindu saint. And he was actually had a very unconventional behavior and even the attire. So people used to call him Pagal Baba or a madman. But he also, there are many stories about his miracles and philanthropic work. So he renounced his worldly life and embraced spirituality in Vrindavan. Uh, this temple is really nice, it's huge and it's built with white marble and has a very modern architectural style. In that sense, it stands out from the other traditional temples you'll find around Mathura, Vrindavan and uh, Gokul, this area. Uh, it has some 11 stories and the top floor really offers a very good view of Vrindavan. I have covered in th that in this video. And on the ground floor, you have some uh, exhibition in which you have moving figures which depict scenes from the Ramayana and Mahabharata. So this is a pretty popular uh, pilgrimage destination for Hindus from all over the world. It is a very popular destination. You should surely check it out. Very unique de uh, design uh, and associated with the legendary Pagal Baba so to speak and it is open from 5 am to 9 pm absolutely no entry fee it is completely free uh, it is about two kilometers from the banke bihari temple so banke bihari temple as you know is a very famous temple uh, in uh, vrindavan and it has a lot of lot of devotees coming to the temple that is the banke bihari temple banke bihari is obviously Lord Shri Krishna himself, uh, the particular pose he strikes while <clears throat> uh, playing his flute, that is the that is how the idol there is hence known as Banke Bihari, <coughs> Banke Bihari Temple. So the story actually goes this like this that uh, Shri Shilanan Ji Maharaj he was a judge in a court and there was one kind of a beggar uh, uh, not a beggar per se but a person from a lower socio-economic class and he had taken some loan uh, with some saukar at that time but uh, he, wa he was a brahmin in fact uh, but from a lower uh, socio-economical strata and he had taken some loan from one saukar and uh, he had paid off the loan time to time all the installments he used to pay but uh, the Saukar did not kind of capture his uh, repayment and only one installment was left and he wanted that installment to be paid earlier than what the due date was. And the Saukar uh, said that uh, you are not actually paid anything to me. And that is how the uh, case kind of went into the court. And the court judge at that time was uh, Sri Shilananji Maharaj. And when he uh, saw all the uh, kind of, uh, he went through the case and he asked the Brahman to produce some kind of eyewitness who can kind of give a witness that yes, indeed, the payment of installments was being done on time. And uh, he, Brahman said ki he absolutely has no uh, kind of eyewitness, but he will look into it. And then the Brahman went to the Banke Bihari uh, temple and prayed there a lot uh, for a solution from Shri Krishna, Lord Shri Krishna. And the very next hearing, there was a beggar, uh, completely uh, uh, like a beggar like man who accompanied the Brahman and gave witness in the court and said that, yes, I had seen uh, this particular person uh, pay repay the installments to this Saukar and he gave exact dates and uh, how much amount was uh, paid to that particular Saukar and it kind of 
collaborated with the data bank account details of the saukar only that the payments were in made in the na- other fake names so that it does not trace back to the saukar and that is how the brahman eventually won the case and uh, this uh, uh, judge that is shri shilanand ji he was very surprised so as to who this beggar is because even the brahman was not aware actually who the beggar is so he went back to banke bihari temple and then he asked the people around there the priest of the banke bihari temple and they said that uh, there is no sort of beggar who matches the description uh, of that particular beggar anywhere near the uh, temple and that is when the judge uh, shri shilanand ji realized that it is actually it was uh, lord shri krishna in the human form and the lord shri krishna had kind of helped the brahman to settle this case so that is when the judge kind of renounced his uh, material life and took over the mantle of uh, pagal baba he had a very kind of uh, erratic behavior so to speak and kind of uh, local folklore and oral many stories about him uh, of his miracles that were performed by him a very unconventional behavior to so to speak and then hence being uh, labeled as a madman so lots of stories very nice place you must visit it uh, offers very good view of the surrounding city as well and uh, same like our uh, brilliant beautiful birla mandir that is the bhagavad gita mandir which you can check out in this particular video the another beautiful a uh, temple do check it out just click on this particular link in this rectangle given here and check out all our other videos on mathura agra uh, and uh, gokul vrindavan and also jaipur we are going to upload a lot more have fun have a great year and take care and see you in the next one